So hi guys, before I jump into QR code, I just want to touch one more thing um, and that is we want to see, I want to show you through the how this Laravel generator uh, came about with this design. Uh, Laravel generator uses something called admin LTE. It's just a bootstrap three template that somebody built uh, for just admin panel. Look at what it looks like. It contains the full features you need to use to build an admin panel, including colors and all. So to access it, just to check it out, you see it at admin lte.io. That is admin. I think I should type it somewhere. Admin lte.io that's it so once you visit it you will see this page but before i uh, continue here i want to show you this if you go to your resources folder go to views and click on layouts click on app.lay.php that is like your index.php that's your main file so if you're on app.lay i'm going to click this so that i can close this i wanted you to see everything you will see that this is normal html file head Infium generator. Um, I think I should just change this to Laravel QR code. QR code. QR code generator. So this is basic HTML. But then if you start looking at things, you start seeing other familiar stuff. Like the CSS, it's important is what Laravel what? Sorry, the CSS is important is CSS bootstrap 3.37. Let's say you're good with um three point um you're better. Let's say you're better with uh, 4.0, 4.1, you can import it and start using it. All right, whatever uh, aspect of Bootstrap you're better with, you can import it. And then it imports Font Awesome for fonts. So you can start using fonts from fontawesome.com straight away. So it, it also imports um, icons from um, Ionicons. This is from Ionic, Ionic icons, which is awesome. It also imports um of course these templates these are admin bootstrap templates and then um, that's just basically it select multiple select um templates so that's it then the other thing i want to show you is that the skin the color of our app is currently blue but we can change it let me show you um let me refresh so you see what it looks this is what it looks like currently but we can change this color and we can change the behavior as you can see right now nothing is happening we can change this color now to do that what we're going to do is simple we go to this place and click on docs i'm going to open it a new page so it opens you can just take your time and scan through the documentation so but the main thing i want to highlight is on the layout you click on layouts and um, you'll see a number of things but if you scroll down you start seeing skin colors anyone you select will automatically change the color for instance let us change our color to yellow so we'll change skin yellow so there we are we we'll change this color to skin yellow and then we we'll go and refresh You see it's now yellow in color but if you look at this side you notice that this side is still black depends on the design you want to approach or you want to uh, work with see this one is, is now yellow but this one is still black so if you want it to be light what you can do is uh, according to the documentation there's yellow light so we're going to add uh, light to our yellow so we're just going to come here and put dash light yellow light let's go and refresh and see what yellow light looks like You see what yellow light looks like so you can work with different designs already by just um, adjusting the the color there is green there's green light uh, let's just see what green light looks like so we're gonna finally let's say green here settle with one that makes sense for us you you can make your choice and choose anyone so we have green light you see I think um, green makes sense, but I don't know whether green makes sense for a payment platform. I think you should work with a darker color. Depending on you, you can make your own choice. Um, I might just have to work with purple. Purple light color. So I'm sticking with purple. That's the final uh, decision from the emperor. 
the partner so you choose your own color according to what you like you see purple purple looks cool all right um now you understand how infium works and um, things you can do if you take your time through this documentation you will learn a lot for instance if you click on components you see there is sidebar there is main header and then um, some adjustments you can do on your own you understand what i'm saying a whole number of adjustments you can do to make your site more beautiful so one more thing i have to show you is this tiny little fancy feature this icon if you click on it see what it does it expands and contracts but ours doesn't work at the moment if we try ours now you'll observe that when you when you click on it nothing happens so uh, we need to correct it if you come to your app.blade.php um, which is the file we just changed now and um, under the body if you scroll down a little right here you will see just above this you will see this link that has sidebar toggle but the data toggle is off canvas we have to change it to push dash menu that is push menu so that I need to organize the menu all right so once we do that we we'll reload works well if we click on it see now works well now I didn't just learn this uh, do this by magic I got it from the admin LTE documentation on the JavaScript you will see on that push menu so at your free time try and scan through all these things to see what each of them does all right uh, it controls the toggle button of the menu sidebar that's just it you can see other settings in it so um that's just it guys see you in the next video where we'll go straight into the qr code setup